Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Lucas Monster, and today we have another exciting Star Wars Black Series news video to get into, as well as some vintage collection news and retro collection news, so pretty exciting, and we got two back-to-back -back news videos, we had one just a few days ago, so if you did miss that, make sure to go check it out, but yeah, pretty good week for news when it comes to the Black Series, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And like always, make sure you go down, hit the like button, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Star Wars Black Series news. And anyway, first up is actually a post from Yak Face. Or should I say a few posts from Yak Face? We actually got several rumor reports. First up is for the Retro Collection. And it is a Retro Collection 6-pack. This is something we've been seeing quite frequently now with the Retro, retro Collection. Uh, we did get, I believe it was a New Hope version, and we also did just see a Phantom Menace version. And so, we're not really sure what this is. There is no confirmation on what these figures could be or what the IP is it's from. But um, I guess it's something prequels. It could be another wave of the Phantom Menace, or it could just be from some other kind of prequel celebration. But considering that's kind of the theme for the beginning of 2020, that that's where I would uh, guess that this set is going. Next up for Vintage Collection, there's actually a brand new playset or vehicle, and again, unknown what this thing could be. Could be from any IP, we don't know yet, unfortunately, so as soon as information on this comes out, I'll definitely cover it here on the channel. Um, but yeah, we have to wait and see, and it is, is nice to see Vintage Collection getting those playsets and vehicles that really make the Vintage Collection the Vintage Collection. Next up, we also do have a Black Series Premium Roleplay Helmet titled Sight. Still, unfortunately, no confirmation on what this figure is, but I believe there is a hint from what IP it could be from, and that's because Yakface used the Clone Wars yellow color. Now, he does not address this at all in the post, so it is not by any means confirmed, but judging by how Yakface normally posts stuff, I do believe that this helmet is going to be a Clone Wars helmet. Now, does that mean a clone trooper or something else? We don't really know yet, but uh, judging by the yellow Clone Wars color, I I'm predicting that it'll be a Clone Wars helmet. Next up is actually a post from Yakface as well, and this one is really, really interesting, so I'm glad Yakface actually called it out, but obviously in every single comment on every single video I get, and obviously on Instagram with Yakface's comments, there's a lot of comments about balancing the scales. Hey, Black Series got this, we want this. Hey, TVC has this, Black Series wants this. You know, it's, it's a big ordeal. Uh, it's kind of like a war between Black Series and Vintage Collection collectors, which honestly at this point, I think we should be working together and... Uh, you know, that's a whole story for another day, but anyway, Yakface went ahead and looked at all of the confirmed code names for 2024, and right now it is perfectly balanced at 30 for each lines. Now, this is including uh, roleplay items for the Black Series, and it is including vehicles and playsets for Vintage Collection. So, you know, you can take that as you will, but as of right now, they are pretty balanced. And there is a whole debate whether you want to count the roleplay items or if you want to count the vehicles and play sets for Vintage Collection. And it's, it's something that a lot of these people that are, you know, angry and discussing it talk about. And so I'm not going to get into any of that because it's not something that I, I want to talk about. I don't really care about the drama that much. I'm mainly a Black Series collector and I'm pretty happy with what we've been getting. So there's no reason for me to complain. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what your thoughts about this are. You know, it, it's, it's interesting to see. Next up from Yak Face, we actually have the brand new Mace Windu and Clone Trooper 2 pack. This one is part of the Clones of the Republic line. And according to Yak Face, it looks like this set has finally started to arrive in the US, which is actually a pretty dang quick turnaround. But uh, judging by the like shipping data of previous Hasbro Pulse exclusives, uh, he's actually predicting this one to ship sooner than May 1st, which is the official release date. So uh, if you did have this one on pre-order, you might expect to see it sooner than May 1st, which is pretty dang cool. And of course, once this does ship out, whether it's on May 1st or sooner, it should go back in stock for everyone who missed it. This is one I personally missed as well. So really hoping to see this one go back in stock pretty soon. And I would not be surprised if it does. Last up in the news, we actually do have four new Vales Toy Store Customs, actually a part of the 13th Battalion. And these, I gotta say, are pretty dang cool. We do have a, like, officer style. This one is pretty cool. It does have the uh, Phase 2 helmet with the rangefinder, which is one of those AliExpress exclusive molds, as well as the Kama. This one is brand new as well. We have not seen this one on any other AliExpress figures. This is a brand new mold that they made, and it is looking really dang good. So uh, it's really cool to see AliExpress and Vale's Toy Store making these new molds for this. It's really cool to see. And there is another one that is right next to him. I don't know if this is an officer or what this is supposed to be. It could be a sniper for all I know, but he is looking pretty dang cool. He does have the belt with the holsters, but the real cool thing about this guy is just his face paint. He has like this gray 
on the bottom of the helmet as well as like the arrow and it looks super dang cool it's one of the coolest designs i've seen on an aliexpress figure and both of these figures are original designs they do not exist in canon they are made up from veal's toy store and so if this is like figures you like and you think are cool this is something that hasbro is never going to make because they're not real and so if this is something you'd like i say go ahead and pick it up because they look pretty dang cool and it, like i said it's something that hasbro is never going to make because it was made up by them Next up, we actually have a brand new heavy class for the 13th Battalion, and he does have like the Commander Cody style heavy helmet, and it looks incredible. This is another brand new mold from Vale's Toy Store, Vale's Toy Store, however you want to pronounce it. It's brand new for them. This is not a Hasbro mold. It is their mold, and it looks incredible. I saw some people saying that uh, the base helmet is a brand new mold, and it's not reuse of that 2020 clone mold, and I think I have to agree it looks significantly smaller than that 2020 clone helmet mold. And I got to say, it looks incredible. So this is one that I'm really excited about, and I hope to see them use it on more figures in the future. Maybe a Commander Vaughn, Commander Cody. We'll have to wait and see, but it's an incredible looking helmet and uh, really love how that heavy turned out. And I, I hope they do more heavy classes in the future. And of course, there's also the medic here, pretty much similar to the standard 13th Battalion design. He does have a little bit of the like red medic logos here and there on his armor. And of course, he does have that incredible red medic backpack. Again, another original mold we've seen several times in the past now, but it's, it's good to see them continue to use that mold because it looks pretty dang incredible. But yeah, these are the brand new AliExpress figures. Really liking how they look and... Um, Again, we've already went through the uh, debate whether you should pick up AliExpress figures or not here on the channel, and I am, I'm in support of these figures. These are original designs from Vale's Toy Store. They are customs. Uh, they are not they're not bootlegs because this is something that Hasbro has not made and will never make. So if you do want to pick these up, I do support picking them up because they look incredible, and it's something that Hasbro will never make. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy the like button and subscribe, make sure to leave a comment down below on your thoughts with the news in this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.